Okay, this is our next section, surface area and volume of spheres. So we're going to go straight to the formula. The surface area formula for a sphere is 4 pi r squared. 4 pi r squared. And I like to relate it to a baseball because if you're familiar with a baseball, the way it's stitched and you unravel it, it looks like there could be four circles, okay? Which, if you see in the formula, pi r squared represents the area of a circle, and then you have four circles, four areas of circles. So something to think about. I know you've got that stuff on the inside, but if you were to kind of level it all out, and then the volume formula for a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Pi r cubed. So this is pretty easy. So we're just going to go ahead and do two examples using these formulas. So the first one is um, just a regular sphere. The, the um, radius is 27. So we're going to plug that in. And just work each formula out. Pretty, it's pretty easy. All right, so let's do surface area first. So surface area equals 4 pi r squared, 4 pi 27 squared. I'm going to put 27 in the calculator, square it, and I'm going to times it by. So the exact surface area is 2,916 pi, and this is millimeter squared. Okay, pretty easy. Let's do the volume now. Volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So I'm going to put 27 in there. So 27 cubed is a really big number. Let me just double check that. So 19,683. And then times 4 thirds. So I'm going to just do that in my calculator, which comes out to 26,244 pi. So this is the exact answer, and this is millimeters cubed. OK, and that's the volume. <clears throat> One thing that I do want to um, talk about, and I know it's not an example down here, but if you have a problem like this where they give you the volume, let's say the volume is, I don't know, I'm just making it up, 5,500 pi, and it says what is the radius, and you had to solve for that, all you need to do is set up the formula 4 thirds pi r cubed and set it equal to whatever the volume is. And then solve for it. Solve for R using your algebraic steps. First thing that I would do is cancel out the pi's and then get rid of the four thirds. So the way you get rid of that is multiply by three fourths. And so then we have R cubed equals 5,500 times three fourths. Four thousand one hundred and twenty-five, and here's where some kids get confused. They don't know how to get rid of the cube. It's very similar to the way you would get rid of the squared, except it's called the cube root, and that right there is in your calculator. And so whatever you do to one side, you got to do to the other, and that'll get rid of that, and then it'll get R by itself. So the way you cube root, if you turn your iPhone sideways, you can see a cube root on there. So this is roughly about 16.038. Okay, so that's solving backwards for R if you were ever given the volume. All right, let's try this uh, sphere over here. It's actually not a full sphere, that's a portion of a sphere. It's like you got a little portion cut out. So when we do the surface area first, let's move this over here a little bit. So when we do the surface area, we don't want to quite do 4 pi r squared, okay? 
because you have to consider a lot of different things. Think, I always like to relate it to painting. You have to paint this inside. You have to paint this part right here, which right here, this is a quarter of a circle and that's a quarter of a circle because that, that's the center of the sphere. And then we have a sector right here, okay? So let's take care of this bottom part first. This bottom part is easy to do. That's two pi r squared. I took half of four pi r squared. And then I need to add this curved part up here. That curved part is a fraction of two pi r squared. So we're going to add a fraction of two pi r squared. And the fraction is whatever the degrees is all the way around like that. And if this is 30 degrees, the remaining part must be 330. So 330 over 360 times 2 pi r squared. So that's those two parts. Now, let's clean this up a little bit. Get rid of that. So now we just need this inside part that I'm now going to highlight in red. So this right here we just said is half a quarter of a circle. Here's another quarter of a circle. So that's half a circle. So we're going to add half of a circle, which is half of pi r squared. And then the last thing that we need to add is this little sector right here that I just put in green, which that is a sector, which is 30 degrees out of 360 times pi r squared. So that's the entire formula for all the sections that we need to find, okay? So let's start off with the easier one first, the 2 pi r squared. And r is 4 right there. So this is the first part. So 2 pi 4 squared plus I'm going to reduce this fraction up here. Let's see, 11 over 12. 11 over 12 times pi 2 times 2 pi 4 squared. So let's do that, and then we'll do the red and the green in a second. So 16 times 2, so this is 32 pi plus 16 times 2. Because 4 squared is 16, and then times 2 is 32, and then 32 times 11 divided by 12 is 29 and a third. So 29 and a third pi. Okay, so now I'm going to switch my color to red because this is the next one. So we're going to add. 1 half pi 4 squared, and then we're going to add, let's reduce that, 1, 12, all right, so 1 12 times pi 4 squared, all right, so I have so I have 32 pi, I'm just going to rewrite it one more time, 32 pi plus 29 and a third pi plus 16 and then half, that's 8 pi, and then this last green one, 16 and then 112, 16 divided by 12, so 1 and 1 third pi. So now all of these are like terms, and that's our surface area, because we did every little piece um, that we needed to, so, so to speak, paint. Okay, so now I'm going to add 32 plus 8 is 40. 40 plus 29 plus 1. That's 70, and then one third plus one third is two thirds. So your surface area for this sphere that has the portion cut out is 70 and two thirds pi square feet.
Okay, and I know that seems a bit complicated, but you have to take more, each little piece into consideration because that's what surface area is about. All right, so now to try volume for this figure. So volume, you kind of want to do each uh, hemisphere uh, one, like one at a time, okay? And or you can do you can do the whole thing if you want as well. But I like to consider it all together. At one, I mean, um, each little half, one you know, at a time. So for volume, for volume, it's four thirds. But I'm going to do each hemisphere at a time. So this piece down here, it's one half, four thirds pi, four cubed. And then at the top, we're going to do the other half, four thirds pi, four cubed, except I got to take a portion of it, okay? And it's not 30 degrees, it's 330 degrees out of 360, okay? So you want to do that portion right there of that top hemisphere. So what does this reduce to? So this reduces to two-thirds. So we have two-thirds times, what's four cubed? 64 pi plus, remember earlier, we, we already did 330 out of 360, we reduced that. So that reduces to 11 twelfths times 2 thirds, because that's what reduces there, times 64 times pi. So now I just need to reduce those right there. So what's 2 thirds of 64? It's 42 and 2 thirds pi plus, I'm going to mu just multiply these in my calculator, 11 twelfths times 2 thirds times 64. So I've got 11, 20. So this is 39.111 repeating. What fraction is that? I like to turn things into fractions. Let's see if I can figure out the fraction. So it's 1408 over 36. So this is really 39 and 1 ninth, just to be exact. <clears throat> and then of course we have pi. So the way we write our final answer, is that's roughly eighty one point seven seven eight high. Okay. If you want to turn it into a fraction, you can turn it into I'm just going to leave it as that. All right, and this is the volume. So this is in cubic feet. And that's it.